Right now with a verdict coming down, possibly really at any moment, cities across the country where they are getting ready for possible protests. And tonight, Las Vegas Metro Police are prepared. 13 Action News reporter Jeremy Chen joins us live from downtown Las Vegas. And Jeremy, you spoke to a UNLV professor who believes that the community will respond really no matter what the verdict may be. Absolutely, Todd and Tricia, and this verdict is expected to be heavily scrutinized as all eyes from across the country and even around the world are looking to the jury to see what they decide. The UNLV professor I talked to says he expects to see protests no matter what the verdict is. The streets along the Strip and in downtown Las Vegas were gripped with calls for justice stemming from the death of George Floyd last year in May and June. With the trial of Derek Chauvin now in the hands of a jury, UNLV African American Studies professor Tyler Perry says he expects protests to happen regardless of the verdict. I think the energy now within most social justice activist movements is to continue to maintain this particular momentum in order to continue the conversation. A conversation around police brutality and reform. Dr. Perry says the protests either will focus on a perceived lack of justice with not guilty verdicts or continuing to push for change with guilty verdicts. Awareness still needs to be raised about the inequities within the system, what feeds into this type of violence that persists amongst police departments and within these communities. Las Vegas Metro Police says it's prepared for any potential protests, saying in a statement, the LVMPD remains vigilant as national incidents of unrest are ongoing. Our officers remain ready to respond to any situation that may arise locally and have resources readily available. Dr. Perry says the vast majority of the George Floyd protests last year were peaceful, with many in the streets committed to nonviolent forms of protest and doing so with a purpose. They are doing so with the expectation that um, legislators, local leaders, national leaders are going to pay attention to what they're as actually asking. Now, this verdict, however, could take some time as the jury could spend hours or even days trying to come up with a decision. And coming up at 6, we're going to hear from a local business owner on how he's preparing for any potential protests. Jeremy Chen, 13 Action News.